everyone. Hi, welcome to Title Sighted channel. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your custom velodrome races in one lap. One lap being, you know, compared normally to Zwift as the Chinese version. Um, but that's not what I'm going to do here today. What I'm going to show you is how to do your own velodrome race setup within one lap. Okay, let's get started. As you can see now, we are in one lap. This is the main menu. Uh, I'm sorry to you guys who can't read Chinese. I'll try my best to help you along. And okay, just a couple of things first, right? Housekeeping, set up. As you can see, I'm riding a Magin Bravat 2. Magin Bravat 2 is from Magin. Magin themselves, they make power meters, um, heart rate sensors, and of course, they you know, come up with one lap just to go with the smart trainer. As you can see here, um, this is from the left, is smart trainer. Next to it is the power meter pickup, speed sensor. Um, not sure why you need speed sensor when you can calculate power you know, to measure the speed, but anyway. Um, heart rate monitor, followed by the cadence sensor. Uh, yeah. And you can see here, this is. N plus, it's using N plus, and what I'm doing here is just to detect my heart rate sensor, which just went off. There we go, heart rate sensor, cardio sports. Yeah, in any case, on top here you can see it says continue in Chinese. Uh, just asking you which device is for your power reading. Of course, uh, I'm going to choose my power meter from the smart trainer. Done. Okay, now let's move proper. Um, velodrome. Yes. So at the bottom right, what happened now? There is no races going on, nothing's happening. So, how to start a velodrome event? At the top right, it says, create your race. There we go. Okay, come to the next page. It's going to ask you, from lap 3 of the race onwards, are you going to eliminate the last rider based on every lap pass or every two laps before you eliminate the last rider. In this case, for example, we can go to um, right, sorry about that. Back to the screen. Yep. Um, yeah. So I decided to choose every lap. The third lap onwards. What it means here next is uh, create your room name. For example, uh, you know I'm from a Sanders, so I'm just going to use Sanders in short form. ASC, which is the short form. Uh, track, for example. Okay, this is the password that you need to get your riders into the velodrome. Um, for example, I said you were 58, but you know, never mind, doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, the tick box here, what it means is whether you allow spectating from non-racers or visitors. Okay, very simple. Create the race. Here we go. Now, we are inside the velodrome. This is view number one. 
um, as you can see there are some buttons here right so just uh, okay sorry about that you see what happened is when I press the yellow button the manure that appeared says that you need four person to start the race otherwise it's going to continue to remain in warm-up labs this is a little menu button um, there's three buttons here this is to toggle your view one side view two view to the back three overhead view four thanks for the clap guys and first person view like shooter games five this middle button here is your sensors um, unless you want to bail out you hit this this means goodbye to the race okay um, this is to check your current event how many people have joined in so far it's just myself because yeah I'm just setting it up just to show everyone where we are and here means on the right the number of laps for the race to take on and of course you see you can choose to change to uh, elimination per lap or every two laps to eliminate the next rider okay and of course you can change the name again um, once again if you press this means start the race but then again it means as you can see there's a four it means you need four to start the race back again to the velodrome now um, press button one I'm just looking at myself again well what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ride you through a couple of laps a few laps just to let you see how um, the velodrome actually goes about right so um, yeah so sit back and just uh, Enjoy the view while I suffer. <laughs> Here we go. Once again, these are warm up laps, not racing, because there's no other races to hop along with me, so I'm just gonna. Probably just do a five. Yeah, five left press. And we'll see how it goes. Now you can see on the top right of the screen, there's a couple of things up there. After the first lap, you probably get the idea of what it's trying to tell you. Okay, see? That's your left counter. Faster speed, the average wattage, and your lap time. Over on the left of the screen, you can see there is power in terms of percentage against your FTV, your heart rate against max heart rate, the speed, and of course, if this is a race, at the bottom of it is the points you earn, like points race on the velodrome. In the middle, on the top of us, then says only one person inside, that's why there's a one. Well, nobody's chasing, but there's nobody else. Step four.
as you can see, of course, the power and the heart rate colors change according to the zones they hit. Still no races. Let me demonstration how you set up the race. Nice idea. Get a couple of club mates to come in to do some points race practice. Or simply change off the environment right in Velodrome. Yeah, Velodrome, alright. Most platforms out there is about riding out there while well, we are trying to stay indoors. Probably just do a couple of more laps and finish it off with 10. So you have it. This is one lap indoor track racing. Custom setup. So this gives you an idea of what you can do for your club meet rides or some friendly races within one lap environment. Sorry if it's in Chinese for some of you who need some help, but if you have any questions, do hit me up. Let's help you. As this is a warm up lap, so none of the track scores will be recorded. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pleased to just share with you this idea. So, I'll hear from you again. Thanks for watching. Okay, so with that, I say bye for now.